Thank you so much. Um, the family of the late uh, fellow clergy, uh, representatives from government, the ministers, honorable members of parliament and staff, friends and family and fellow mourners, I greet you in the name and the Lord of our Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Martin Semper. I want to thank you so much for honoring the memory of this great man. Jacob Olanya was a close friend to me starting at Makere University. And I want to share a reflection of that memory. I also want to share an apology on behalf of those who have dishonored his memory in his death. I also want to sing a song in Acholi that I was told when I was young in his memory. When I was here last, an Honorable Mao spoke about the night that uh, Jacob Olanya and him planned to resist privatization at McKinney. I was there. We were coming of age in our political leadership roles. I was a photographer for Macarillion. And every time there was a meeting, I still have many of those pictures. They're in black and white. I have them, they are precious to me now. And when we tried to resist World Bank, which was taking away our boom, and uh, the sponsorship that government was giving, the resistance was strong, and Jacob led that resistance along with Honorable Mao, at the time, also, we had the late Mayombo, uh, many others who are in leadership now. I saw a warrior from the north. And I thank you all who have come. The songs, the dances, the prayers to celebrate a great man. I'm a reader of history and world affairs, and I read about how do they make ceremonies when a great man died, from Ukraine to South Africa. From here, as I was watching, the songs of burying a great man and sending him off. In the Bible, when Jacob died, they stopped for 40 days because the funeral of a great man Everything must stop. And somehow, I don't know how God did it. That the many days that preceded the bringing back of the body gave occasion to honor the memory of a great man. The first day when I came here, this grass was green. As I look it up now, it's as if it has seen many seasons. It's now brown with many feet that have walked on it. It's because we are celebrating the memory of a great man. Second thing that I want to share is an apology for the desecration of a great man's memory. It has become, there is a disease that has been in America. Many of you know that my wife is from New York. I've lived in America and I see what goes on and the diseases of the Europe have watched them come to Africa. One of those diseases is homosexuality. And I remember very much at the launch of the anti-homosexuality law, the speech that Honorable Jacob Olanya gave is a historical speech. I was just going over it about three months back because I'm finalizing a book that I've been writing for the last eight years. And I, wrote, I was going over his speech, it's a great speech. 
But it's the other disease that is coming here is a disease of desecrating authority. Written in a book called Rules for Radicals, expressed more recently in a group called Antifa, where if they oppose you politically, they will demonize you, they will dishonor you, they will burn the buildings down. Some of you may not follow what has been happening from the time of Black Lives Matter, the times of Antifa, the courts are burnt down, the, the, the post office is burned down, the police is dishonored. When you hear about all talks about police, police are bad, police are evil. There's a lot of this, but it's not coming from Uganda. It's coming from the West. And many of you are not seeing this disease, but the, it is a systematic effort to take over us as a people using a new weapon, discrediting. If somebody loses their child, they say bad things. When the honorable was sick, they said, why are you taking him to the hospital? But it wasn't the first time. It has been many times I'm on social media when uh, my sister Sarah Kajingo talked about the trolls. I've been seeing them. When children died in the swimming pool, people were celebrating that it is good that the children of the ministers have, have died in the swimming pool. I said, how in heaven's name can you do that? Even if you are not with them politically, you cannot celebrate the death of children who have died in the swimming pool. It moved on. When others get treatment, they complained. When the former speaker was taken for treatment, they complained, why are they being taken for treatment? And I spoke and I said, no. My policy when someone gets sick is you make the best prayers and look for the best treatment. And I thank government, I thank the president for giving the best treatment to this great man that they could. It was honoring a great warrior. And so uh, even me and even you, if you ever get sick, I will pray that we will make the best prayers and we will get the best treatment that we can to save your life. But it's wrong for those who speak and I tell them, Dr. Martin Luther King said, evil cannot fight evil, it's love. Even if you don't agree politically, show love. Because light is what fights darkness. Show love, and I keep asking, where is the love? So those of us who are in communication, those of us who are in leadership, you need to know there's a disease. There is a disease that is come. And if they can discredit the leaders, then there is no more authority. But authority is from God. So I apologize for the poems written by Stella Nyanzi, celebrating the death of this great man. I apologize for every post that was made saying that we should not have taken the honorable speaker for treatment. I am sorry and I want to put justice in a heaven and on earth each of those was evil, it should, not, it should have never been said, and I remove it, and I ask all of you, the members of the family, to forgive us, to forgive my generation, to forgive what was said. It was wrong. It should have never been said. Indeed, we do have some individuals in society who now make it their habit, either they want to go for visas, I have written in my book something about how people demonize Uganda that we are killing gays. So they can go to the embassy and apply for visas to go for asylum. Now many make it their business to antagonize authorities so they can be able to go to the embassies and look for what? Visas. Please stop it. Stop the effort of getting visas so that you destroy and demonize our leaders so you can go to the embassy and say, I am persecuted, give me asylum in Germany. It should stop. The final thing that I want to share 
is recently I was appointed the born again chaplain for the parliament of Uganda. And when I went, my first assignment was to pray with Jacob. I went with my wife and I didn't want to do it until I met with him and prayed with him and he welcomed me. And I want to confirm the same thing everybody has said here. When he saw me and we talked about, he said, Martin, look, I can't believe how God has put us together. The clerk is our man who was our secretary. Uh, now I am here the speaker. Now you are the chaplain. God must be doing something here. And then he looked at my wife because my wife and I, we've suffered a lot when we stood against homosexuality. And he knows about it. And then he said, he, he put me down. He says, how have you put up with this man here? How have you put... There is a way in which when Jacob loved you, he punched you. It was a way in which he said, you are mine. So he was telling to my wife good words. And, but this said by here, how have you put up with him? He's got that kind of blah, 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 blah. And of course, it was all in good faith. So I confirmed. What many people have said over here, it wasn't tribalistic or it was because that's the way the warrior from the north, when he loved you, that's how he showed his love. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And now I want to sing a song my teacher taught me when I was young, which I want to sing in honor of Jacob. Because now we see a picture of him, but I'm sure now he's seeing the Lord. And all of us, we are going to come before the Lord. A song that I was told says, Dano do you ama rubanga, rubanga bi konywa, ana mune no yesu la la, ana ne no chale keke. We see now vaguely, but we will see better. We see a picture of Jesus, but we I'm sure now Jacob is seeing face to face. Let us so prepare to see Jesus. And we will carry on the memory of this great man. And we will stand and honor his legacy. We will also pray and stand with the family. Praise the Lord. And we will continue serving in parliament. I prayed in a, the video. I sent out a video when people are saying many things. I recorded a video and I said, we are praying for you, Jacob. And I said it to him. I said, we are praying for you to return. Jacob, you did not come back. But God answered our prayer. You are in a better place. Jacob, we may not see you ride your big motorcycle, but you really gave us such fun. You represented and gave dignity to our generation. With your bow tie, you showed class and sophistication. With your knowledge of the law, you demonstrated that there's a generation that doesn't cheat, that studies and becomes expert. Sure. And in a day and age where people cheat and buy to pass their papers, it is good to see that there is that generation. And as the reverend spoke over here, we want to pass that over. We want to pass over excellency. We want to pass over the class. We want to pass over the excitement about life. We want to pass over the humor. And I want to say, as Makere celebrates 100 years, Jacob, we will also say, a Jacob Oe, a Makere Oe, a Uganda Oe, a Unite Oe, a honoring Jacob Oe, from the north oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. and honoring the warrior from the north oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh yeah. God bless you so much. I'm going to invite my brother. He's also another warrior.